peace welcome welcome back and thank you gratitude for all authentic energetic exchanges inspired actions taken toward me at this time any given time i appreciate it let's get into it this is a daily intuitive message i'm changing the uh spread today if you will i'm gonna see like what's the next thing to prepare for and the suggested suggested action to take considering the situation and um you know the most likely outcome considering that right so let's do it let's get one card i just want to see overall what would this be about what would this concern Got my Twin Flame Oracle deck that I just use as an overall life deck. Right? So let's get one card. What is there to prepare for? For this person, situation that I'm about to tap into. What is this about? What is the next thing to prepare for? about sunshine or shining bright okay <laughs> marriage okay we have marriage compromise twin flames all right and what came out is fear be aware all right be aware somebody may get cold feet at any given stage of the marriage game whether it's the proposition it could be just saying hi, introducing themselves to you, right? Knowing that you're the one or whatever the situation is. So let's get into it. All right. So when this situation arises, tell me what this person, the main character here, tell me what state of being they'll be in. All right. Who is this? Who is this highlighting here? Tell me about this person. Give me one card. That's how this person will know that they're currently like in this situation. Okay. Yeah, because um, because Coco, because it was sunshine, S sunshine, sunshine, never go away, stay right here with me. And then, what was it? Shine bright like a diamond, to be honest. Something like that, all right? So maybe the never go away part scares people. Like, personally, just a tidbit, I feel like that is really like the fear of commitment. I feel like the I'll never get married, fear of commitment, I'll never have children. I feel that, of, of course, you know, you know, fear is a tricky trigger word. Like, I'm not scared. But I get it in the fact that once you have children or when you have something that you love so much, that you just don't know what you would do if, like, something, you know, say somebody should die or it should end. It's like, you know, that could be scary. So that's what I think that it really is. Like, I want this thing forever, ever, forever, ever. And the fact that nothing lasts forever kind of puts people in the position. I feel like a lot of the times they say, uh-uh, never. Uh, mm -mm, not doing it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, so this is kind of highlighting like the, <laughs> I just got the skedaddler, skedaddler, say that three times fast, the one that skedaddles, you know what I'm saying, the non-committal, okay, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know, I, you know, they could be way up, they feel blessed, something like that, but Knight of Wands in reverse, like, mm-mm, I'm a player from the Himalayas, something like that, you know what I'm saying, not gonna talk. Um, Jerome Rome in the house. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Ooh. King of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Like, this is somebody, like, listen. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to cast judgment on this person, but I, I gotta say what I get. This is what you would call, like, the bottom of the barrel. Like, this is a liar, okay? Like, and they have no conscience about it. Like, King of Swords reverse, 
nine of swords reverse. It's either that, like, or they just like they they push it away. Like I'm not, I'm not. But I say that they are like the bottom of the barrel because the eight of pentacles is in reverse. Like they don't want to work on this. Like they don't. Queen of Cups in reverse, like, uh-uh, like, it's like a manipulating energy, okay, so that's what's being shown up here, so be aware, all right, be aware of this, you know, expecting this type of entity to commit to you, if they scared, okay, I got this fuck, okay, tell me more about this Knight of Wands, I'm a, I'll never grow up, I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's a million, like, toys and toys and rust that I can play with, from bikes to games to video games, the biggest, so this person likes variety, you know what I'm saying, I like it all, I love girls, girls, or boys, boys, or whatever this is, oh uh, yeah, put your number on this paper, because I would love to date you, you know what I'm saying, holla at you when I come up to her, like, they, I'm telling you, I get around, I'm getting all the vibes, okay? Tell me more about this person. Look, they blocking it. All right? They stuck there. They not changing. I'm telling you, I refuse to change. The only thing this person is concerned with is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay? And the thing about it is, this is the Ace of Pentacles. I'm not saying they're not going to get to the ten, ten of Pentacles, aka like the completion of something, you know, the establishment of a business, uh, you know, I ain't going to need to say family because I, I this person is, like, is very individualistic. I'm only about, I can even get, like, new business. Like, say this, I just got, like, a serial, like, a serial entrepreneur, possibly. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all they're concerned with. You know what I'm saying? The next level with their business, something new with their business. Look, and I told you, that's the vibe that I was getting. King of Pentacles in reverse. I don't think they really get there. They don't. Because they're rigid and they're stuck... And when it comes to this marriage, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic marriage. Listen, if you can't commit to one thing, that's pretty much how you ain't going to commit. Like, listen, commitment is commitment. All right. Dedication is dedication. And you can say, oh, I'm only dedicated to the coin in this way. Listen, I beg to differ. All right. To a very large degree, how you do one thing is how you do mostly all things. So I'll say that. But anyway. This is rigid, rigid, stuck in their ways. Not very, I don't care how much they look like a people person. Not very much a people person, right? No longevity, okay? I'm telling you, no, I'm not gonna, no, we're not getting married, okay? No, I don't wanna live with you, all right? I'll keep a couple of shoes over there. That's it. You got my toothbrush in the bathroom, don't you? That's it. That's all they care about. Waking up in the morning, wiping off their private parts, brushing their teeth. And skedaddling. That's it, okay? The only thing they're interested on is manifestation, okay, of their shit. And listen, this is a soulmate for whatever it's hitting for. It is, okay? But not for marriage, not for commitment, not for celebration, not for joy. So be aware of manifesti manifesting this soulmate to see the light, okay? Because you can end up with, a, with 10 swords in your back, all right? I'm just saying... There is another emperor. There is another soulmate, an authentic one that has that got a track record. That true authentic emperors have track records, okay, of success. All right, for whatever it's hitting for, it don't have to, have to necessarily correlate to like money in a bank or something like that. But you know what it is. All right, take care of their responsibilities with a queen of wands, somebody spiritual. All right, could be into law or something like that with the uh, temperance, but not this situation. All right, so once this person, you know, in this situation, okay, what, what should they do? Okay, most like, you know, what the person that's showing up here is the non-committal, I'm out one. So what should that person do? All right, once they recognize that they're in this situation. Three of Wands reverse, like hold their horses, pause, stop, 
focusing their manifestation, chill on the manifestation. Three of Wands reverse, like take a chill pill. This is Sun and Aries in reverse, like Sun and Aries. The Sun illuminates; it gives purpose to. Um, it's in, you know, um, uh, it's willpower, and that's in reverse. And Aries is all about I am chill on what you think you are. Chill on it. That's what this is saying. Chill on your fire, right quick. All right. Again, with the Nine of Swords in reverse. Seven of Wands and being very like recognize there's some cowardly things here with the with the comf with the um fortitude in reverse nine of swords in reverse seven of wands there's the defensive this is like an energy of like I'm defending my anxiety about this like I'm acting like I don't have anxiety about this and like there's some kind of defense mechanism with that like but it comes from fear again lack of courage and the universe is here. You know what I'm saying? Like ascend or the or the last judgment in reverse, so you'll be stuck. All right. Tell me more about this three of wands specifically. What should they stop? Man? What you know? What is this person not like? This 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 is the you know this is saying that you are not that. Okay, you're not a runner. All right. Yeah. So this is like a runner a person. Like you are not a runner, or possibly you are not as much of a business person as you think you are. I mean, I'm just saying what I get. Recognize the value in, in, in a marriage, a bond, a partnership, something like that. You got fear, darkness, hesitation, insecurity. Know that you are protected. You know what I'm saying? Life hurts. Shit. Period. Five of wands in reverse. Like, don't give any more energy. Again, this is an eight of wands in reverse. Three and five of wands, like pause, all right? Chill, like, you know, possibly stop being out there like that, communicating so much. Nine of cups in reverse. I'm taking this as, because nine of cups upright can also like mean that, you know, a bit, um, like you you have a lot, like, like what, like pleasure um, type thing. Like, how can I say this? Like, I don't know, like enjoying the fruits of life too much. Like you're happy, like nine of cups upright. You know what I'm saying? You can be happy, but you can also overindulging. Yes. All right. So nine of cups in reverse can talk about overindulgence too, but there's something about overindulgence. Recognize that and chill on that. Like you can think that this makes you happy running around being non-committal or whatever the situation is, but it's like overindulging in, I don't know, singlehood or something like that. You take it how it goes. But again, look at the King of, look at the King of Pentacles in reverse again. Like this again, this is highlighting, like the King of Pentacles has responsibilities that they can't take care of, that they're supposed to. This is an action taker. All right, this is somebody like a strong earth sign, mostly like a Capricorn type vibe. But in reverse, no status, no business, no organization reality is skewed or something like that like they're again very rigid stuck in their ways like very bullheaded maybe a significant tourist placement too but look i just said eight of wands in reverse chill calm down look king of wands in reverse like an insatiable all the act the action takers are in reverse all right chill out go within like stop juggling that's what this is saying all right so if you do that if you choose to do that, what would be the outcome? If you choose to do that, what would be the outcome of the situation? Six of Swords in reverse. This is not moving forward, okay? And I'm asking what you should do. I mean, for whatever reason, there could be some things to clean up. Like, this feels like there's a mess to clean up. Seven of Wands in reverse. This is talking about, we got the Princess of Wands, High Priestess, the Magician, 
listen, there's a connection here. We have the magician. The magician and the high priestess came out again, like together in another message that has something to do with marriage. I think it was like, I think I titled it like you're manifesting the best partner ever or something like that. But there's a person that this, you know, there's a connection here. Like this person does have, I feel like they do know, like I have strong manifestation powers, but at this time they're supposed to partner up with a very intuitive, um, I want to say in the shadows, but you know, like quiet, just, but doesn't like, they know a lot, but they don't say anything. Like, you know, the word magic just came into my head, but like, just as magical type person, princess of wands, but they are, they are defensive against it. It's like this person wants this. And I get it. The North node is in Taurus. Venus is in Taurus. There's a desire right now. People are attracted to stability, comfortability, their own personal resources. Yes. But at this time, it's also about partnership. And this person is defensive against it. So six of swords in reverse, like the outcome of the situation is no moving forward. I feel like they're not going to do it because they are defensive. So this outcome is pretty much saying that this person is not going to do it. It's an opportunity to start very new with their business through a, through a partnership, but they are scared. Look, told you, told you, oh my God, oh my God. This person is shooting themselves in the ass. Fuck the foot, all right? They shooting themselves, look at this. Look at this shit right here. Look at this shit right here. I told you there's a partnership that will bring immediate from the Ace of Pentacles. This is the same deck. From the Ace of Pentacles, always, I told you this person, they pretty much possibly get to like a Three of Pentacles, all right? They get things going, possibly a work group together, but it don't go any further than that. It probably gets to like the Five of Pentacles, everybody's struggling. It don't get to no Six of Pentacles where things are balanced and, you know, invest, more investments are coming in. No, it doesn't because this person doesn't have the right partner. There's still a choice. It's a difficult one for sure, all right? A opposite one, most likely, that they feel is like opposite to them or opposition into them or something like that, but it's there. And they ain't talking to it. Possibly they may, they may have to make amends with someone because, you know, the Six of Swords does talk about karma water, so they could possibly know this person and refuse to do it. All right? Eight of Swords reverse. They know this. They most likely know this outcome is coming. All right? Because they got, again, with the Princess of Cups, they know they got to make an offer, all right? But, you know, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter and Aries in reverse. They're not applying the wisdom of what they learned about themselves from their past experiences. Again, with the Three of Wands in reverse, all right? Manifesting nothing, all right? More brokenness. Look, I told you. They only get into the Five of Pentacles, all right? It's destiny, all right? An alignment, but, you know. So let's just get one more card. To end this off, emotional security. It's time for it. All right. We got strong black moon Lilith is in cancer. The sun is in cancer right now. All right. And you may be going through some very catastrophic, embarrassing, hard times with black moon Lilith and cancer when it comes to anything, emotional security, your home space, the history or anything like that. It's time. All right. Emotional security, stability. All right. It's here. It's time for it. All right. That's what I have at this time. I appreciate you. See you next time. Peace.